Good morning, everybody. Um, uh, just a, a short Friday morning thought as we get ready for, for Sunday. Um, the first Sunday of this uh, hopefully short uh, period where we're not able to meet together in person again, but we will be live streaming uh, from the church Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Um, so please do join us uh, on YouTube. Uh, on our YouTube channel uh, on Sunday morning. Uh, we look forward to sharing with you even when we can't physically be together in these couple of weeks. Uh, from Monday morning, we'll be restarting uh, the weekday morning devotions from Monday to Friday, and we'll be following through some themes of Advent in those weekday morning devotions. So uh, please do um, catch those on uh YouTube or on our Facebook page. Also just a reminder that this evening, Friday evening from 7 to 8, we're going to be responding to our moderator's call to prayer and we're going to be having a, a prayer time on Zoom, uh, the first time that Ballygreeny has done this. So uh, if you haven't received a link through the, the WhatsApp Ballygreeny Helpers group uh, or from uh, an email, then please send me a message today, text or email or, or private message on, on Facebook. Send me a message and I will send you the link for that this evening. And also just a reminder that we are collecting uh, Christmas gifts for the Belfast City Mission. They are continuing their gift appeal, but they are not receiving toys this year. And obviously our normal Sunday gift service, which would be the 6th of December, uh, we won't be together in person for. So what we're planning to do is on Saturday the 5th uh, from 10 to 12, you can come and you can drop off toys uh, at the church. There'll be somebody there to take those from you. Not toys, sorry. You can come and drop off uh, gifts at the church uh, and somebody will be there to take those from you. And those gifts uh, can be uh, selection boxes, boxes of biscuits, tins of sweets, uh, gift cards or vouchers, monetary gifts or non-perishable groceries. We'll put details of that on the Facebook page again so that you know what you're supposed to bring. I want to read a passage which I, I read uh, actually in my own devotions just this morning. Uh, and it's Isaiah 52. Uh, and just a few verses from that. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. The voice of your watchmen, they lift up their voice. Together they sing for joy, for eye to eye they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Those are great words and they begin with a declaration of good news. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news. It is vital in these days where the news at times seems so bleak, seems so grim, to know that the good news that we hold on to as Christian believers has not changed, does not change. Uh, the good news of peace where so many around us are anxious or concerned or fearful is still there. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have peace in relationship with one another, brothers and sisters uh, who are in Christ. And we can know that fellowship and that love and that friendship uh, from one another because of the peace that he has brought about for us. So we can have that, that peace, that real sense of transforming peace in our lives. We can have happiness when so many people are sad and sorrowful and uh, and stressed uh, and are finding life difficult. It's not to say that we don't find life difficult, but we have a joy that nothing in this world can take away because we know who we are. We are the children of God and we know whose we are. We belong to him 
and he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will never let us go. And that peace and that joy comes from the knowledge that we have salvation in Christ, that he has uh, rescued us, that he has lifted us up from sin and death and he has brought us to himself. He's brought us freedom. He's brought us life. Uh, and he has allowed us that intimacy of relationship with God that we could never enjoy on our own. Isaiah says here that, that we can see eye to eye the Lord restoring Zion or the return of the Lord to Zion. And the idea of looking God in the eye seems scary. And when you look at the book of Exodus, as we've been looking at in church these weeks, and the God who reveals himself to the people of Israel at, at Mount Sinai, the idea of looking that God in the eye really is terrifying, is scary. And in fact, uh, the people uh, recognize just how how awesome uh, God is and, and, and they, they don't want to even hear his voice because it scares them so much. Never mind, look him in the eye. And yet, Isaiah says here, see eye to eye the Lord restoring Zion. We are able somehow to look God in the eye. How is that possible? Because he comes down to us. He stoops down to us. He becomes one of us. When Mary looked in the eyes of her infant son lying in the manger, she was looking in the eyes of God. When the shepherds looked in the eyes of that child they were looking in the eyes of God when Peter found Jesus piercing gaze looking at him in the middle of the courtyard when he denied him it was the eye it were the eye, they were the eyes of God when uh, the rich young ruler came before Jesus and Jesus looked at him and loved him those were the eyes of God we can look at Jesus and see God coming down to rescue his people. And so we can sing of the comfort we have in him because he knows us and he understands us and he is able to give us strength for each new day. We can sing of the redemption that we have on him because he has purchased us and bought us back from slavery to sin and death and set us free. And we can know that one day all nations will see the greatness of our God in the face of Jesus Christ. And what a day that will be. We have good news today. The rest of the world may have swamped itself in bad news. And we may be feeling the strain of that too. But the good news will not change. We are loved. We are redeemed. God has come in Jesus Christ to restore, rescue and redeem his people. And he is with us. God bless you today. Uh, and I hope you are able to, to tune in on Sunday as we come to worship together. God bless.